welcome back. Today I have a Whole Foods haul for you guys. Kind of bummed out because I actually ordered it online yesterday and it arrived today, but they are missing some items. And would you guess what one of those items were? So on my Instagram, I shared with you as I was, you know, shopping for health, they have an Oreo vegan cake. So I ordered it. It didn't come. There's my sign. <laughs> Anyway, I'm also missing one bag of produce too. I was trying to be good. I was really stocking up and it was just like, no, not today. But you know what? I gotta say overall for the Whole Foods online service, I have had great experiences with it. Overall, it's really been super convenient and nice and I really don't have that many complaints about it. And even still with this, they'll totally refund me and everything, it's not even that, but I am bummed because I did want it. Anyway though, I actually even got some ingredients that I wanna make some fresh pico. I've done this many times, I love to do it, and I'm missing the jalapenos, and you gotta have that. However, I thought at the end of this video, I'll take you guys out there if you are interested at all and give you a little update on our garden. We have like four or five garden beds that were already all planted and pretty when we Got here we've just moved here a couple months ago well i've been keeping them alive and they are thriving they really are well one of these planters is a bunch of different peppers and i don't think there's jalapeno out there i think there might be like serrano that might be a little much but i'll show you what's out there and maybe we can make something work anyways but i thought that'd be kind of cool too to just give you a little garden update too it's really taken off eggplant is like going crazy lots of tomatoes who knew you could grow stuff in vegas when it gets to 118 it's over, but <laughs> 100, it thrives, who knew? Anyway, I'm gonna share everything I got with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Thank you so, so much for watching, always and always coming back. I really appreciate it. Let's just get into it. Look at all this health. I was really going for it. <laughs> Anyway, I did go ahead and get three large heads here of red leaf lettuce. It's one of my favorites. I love it and it looks really, really good. So glad that came. I also got some green beans here. I haven't had green beans in a long time. This is even like a microwavable bag, so it's super fast and easy, but I mean, you can totally cook it on the stove top too. Just thought I'd change it up and do those. I did get some sweet potatoes. I One of the things that is missing too is I did order uh, some little like the baby creamer potatoes too but actually we do still have a few left so I'll, I'll make do but I did go ahead and get the sweet potatoes though which I love especially air fried very very good and then pretty much here you'll see like the ingredients aside from the jalapeno uh, to do the pico I do have this recipe on my website I'll link it below it's very very simple uh, but it is so good it really is I highly recommend you try it so I got some cilantro here I got some white onion now, if you can't find white onion, which sounds so silly, but sometimes it's not easy to find. I have substituted a red onion before and it's still very, very good. So feel free to do that. Uh, I got some Roma tomatoes here which typically is the best to use for making like your own salsa, but you guys will see out in the garden. We have quite a few of the little like cherry uh, tomatoes out there, but I wanted to get some of these for that. Got the red onion here too. I do still have some yellow onions, but out of the red ones. Now I have to say, these do not look good, right? I actually, like when I told them the items that were missing, I mentioned these mushrooms too. They don't look good. They're not, I mean, mushrooms don't look good to me anytime, but you guys know I don't like them, but Nate does, but this ain't it. So they refunded for this as well. But I was trying, I was trying. <laughs> got one cucumber here too. And then I also got some of the baby romaine mix. It's like the baby lettuces. I love this, it's so good, it really is. And then I got some spinach here too. Again, just kind of do a handful of each of it by making salads and you're good to go. Or of course, adding this to like smoothies. I also got some of these mung bean sprouts. The plan was, and a lot of the, the veggies that are missing, like I got some asparagus too, and that's missing, was to do kind of like some stir fries, get kind of back into meal prepping too. Now that we're like settled in, I'm ready to like tackle that again and I love mung beans in stir fry it's very very good uh, so I got some of those but I'll just have to get creative and uh, make it work with what I do have <laughs> I also got some green onions here now I did plant some out in the garden from the bottoms here all you do is cut trim these off and then go plant them and they will take off they will and mine did they did but we had a really really hot day one day and it was over <laughs> 
it was that fast too. I like one night I went out there and I was like, oh, you're looking good. And then the next day, oh, you're gone. <laughs> It happens. So I'll try again though. But these are really easy to grow typically and they grow pretty fast. So anyway, got some more of those. I've got some sugar snap peas here again for like stir fries and some Brussels sprouts. One of you mentioned that you tried the uh, air fried broccoli that I always talk about. It's so good, my friends. It is. And asked if I had tried it with Brussels sprouts. And it's funny because I want to say maybe we have before, but it's been a very, very long time. We don't get these too often. I won't say we don't like them, but they have not always been a favorite of ours. But when you said that, my friend, and left that comment, it just stuck in my head. I was like, I got to try that. So I'm going to do it this week. Air fry them. It's got to be good, right? A little bit of olive oil, a little salt and pepper air fried done easy <laughs> anyway i'll let you know but i got some baby carrots here as well they were actually out of or they substituted just regular ones which i do prefer but that's okay this time or i actually i got the little crinkle cut type uh carrots and i really like those because they they really scoop hummus quite well but they were out of those ones so they substitute with these which is totally fine and then here's the one for you let me know I'm team baby corn. I think it is delicious. I love it. And again, in stir fries primarily. Nate could take it or leave it. He doesn't hate it, but it's not his favorite thing. And I know a lot of people are like, ew, don't like it. <laughs> do you like baby corn? I think it's wonderful. I do. So I got a can to incorporate that one night. You know, another one too, and I have a couple cans, water chestnuts. I absolutely love the crunch from water chestnuts. But again, I feel like it's one of those that a lot of people don't appreciate. <laughs> Anyway, I saw that they had this ranch dressing there. I'm not 100% sure if this is new or not, but I know that we have never seen it or tried it before. But it's by Field Plus Farmer Ranch Dressing, plant-based. The macros seem to be pretty similar to that of like the Follow Your Heart one. It looks a little bit darker in color. I'm wondering if it's going to take on more of like a vinaigrette meets ranch, which I really like, typically anyway. So we'll see. There's the ingredients list if you're interested. Cannellini beans, that's interesting. You don't really see that too much for dressings. I like that everything is like, you know, you can read it. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll see, I'll keep you posted, but let me know if you've tried it. So last week, I shared with you guys a Sprouts haul and I picked this up because I wanted to try it just to see if it was like a good substitute for those that were like raised on either 1% milk, 2% milk or whole milk and if it would really take on that like true milk flavor. I love almond milk, I love soy milk, love oat milk, love so many of them out there but they are still kind of their own flavor, right? And I, I just wanted to know would this kind of like fill that void for someone maybe. I loved it. And it to me, aside from it having like just a little bit of like a sweetness to it that I don't remember from like regular milk, it was pretty spot on. I really enjoyed it. So I got it again. Uh, one of you left some feedback. The only thing with it that you didn't really love was that it didn't froth up like if you're gonna do it for like a coffee like a latte or something I guess it doesn't like froth up the best but you still really liked it and then I added it to coffee too but not like trying to you know froth it up or anything and I like that it doesn't like kind of make that curdling uh look you know what I'm talking about some of those milks they do that <laughs> and they're still like good but they do not look appealing at all and this did not do that but I really enjoyed it so I got it again I saw that Whole Foods did carry it um, it's made primarily of pea protein, but I, maybe it's that pineapple juice in there. I do taste, again, like a little bit of sweetness to it, but I really, really liked it, so I got it. Anyway, I also got some orange juice here. I think they had it on sale. We have one left right now, but when it's on sale, you might as well grab it. They usually have a pretty good shelf life, too, and this is like till October, so we're good. So I got one of those. And then I just shared with you guys on one of my, I think it was my last empties that I had tried this out in the last month and I loved it. It was so good. So I got it again. And on that video, I was comparing it to the one from Trader Joe's. And to me, it is completely different. It really is. Although I expected it to be pretty similar, it's really not. And I definitely prefer the Whole Foods one over the Trader Joe's one. And I had mentioned to you guys, obviously it was an empty jar when I 
I showed you that it definitely is full of like little bits of carrots and mushroom. And although I don't love mushroom, it's okay when it's cut up like this in a sauce. I can live, but I really like carrots and I like that they're in there. You can kind of see them in there. It's really, really good. I recommend you try it and it's a pretty good price too. And then I got some of the Birch Benders Pancake and Waffle Mix. This is the classic one, which is vegan friendly. Some of these you have to be careful with where just the different varieties they have. Some have like milk or egg in them, but I really, really like this. And my kid loves pancakes and it's just easy to meal prep them, put them in your freezer and quick, easy meal, you know? This is new to me, Possibilities. that's really cute. <laughs> Plant-based vegan mac and cheese. And they even had it in like little, like animal shapes and stuff too. So maybe this is trying to go for like kid-friendly stuff, but I mean, I'm a kid at heart, so it works for me. <laughs> but this is the pasta ruffles kind. Um, so you can see the pasta shape there, it's kind of cool. I'm very curious to see how this one tastes. I just want to try it out for you guys and kind of tell you if it's similar to some of the other ones that have been out for a while, like the Annie's one, the Daya ones out there now too, and they're decent. They are. So I just thought I would try this out for you guys and let you know in like an upcoming vlog or empties as well. So got that. It wasn't the cheapest, but I would, again, I just wanted to try it out for you guys. And then these were on sale. So, you know, not all hope is lost since I didn't get my cake. <laughs> Oh, the cake, but I got these double cream cookies by Back to Nature, basically Oreos. They're delicious. I highly recommend the brand. You guys know it's one of my favorites. I love them. They're so good. Got some bananas here. I'm like completely out right now. I have some frozen ones, but needed some fresh ones. And I'm taking a chance. I got the lime juice like this versus buying limes. One, they're kind of expensive right now, believe it or not. And they've been really small recently too. And, and so it takes like a lot of limes to get as much juice as needed sometimes for certain recipes. And one of those being the pico. I do it with lime juice a good amount. So I just thought I would change it up, but I'm pretty used to using fresh limes and I'm curious of how this will do. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> I also finally got my hands on the Back to Nature uh, Cashew Almond and Pistachio Blend. Now they have crackers and they have cookies and they have nuts. I've tried the crackers and the cookies and like I said, one of my favorites out there, amazing. But I've never tried just like their nut medleys before. I'm sure they're not completely different than many out there. Um, but I saw that they had them and I went for it. So I got that, I love pistachios too. They're really good. I got one thing of spaghetti here just to restock on and then I got two of the plant-based cheeses. This is on sale right now and it was a really, really good price. This is one of my favorites, hands down. You guys know I love the Follow Your Heart Feta Crumbles and I will tell you that Nate hates them and this is great news because he hates feta cheese and so it means that it actually tastes like it. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. It's awesome. And then the 365, like the Whole Foods brand, their cheeses are actually really, really good. They really are. And they're actually pretty affordable too. So I saw that they had the plant-based smoked Gouda kind. I think they had a cheddar one as well. And so I got this this time just to change it up. Got one bag here of peeled garlic. Can you believe I just tossed out just a tiny bit that I didn't get to from Costco. The big, big bag of peeled garlic from Costco that I swore I would never get through. And I basically did. I think garlic is seeping through my pores <laughs> at this point, but I love it. It's delish. So got another bag of that. Got one bag here of the frozen shelled edamame. You guys know this is like a staple for myself too. I'll eat it as a snack. I'll throw it into stir fries. I love it. It's such a great source of plant protein. It, you can't go wrong with edamame. It's wonderful. I got two just to have on hand. You guys know this is one of my favorites. It's very affordable there. And it's just a bean and rice frozen burrito. And again, we just keep them in the freezer for like, you know, when life happens on the go and you need something just to throw into a lunch. There it is. I love those. They're great. I also saw that they have this Barbara's uh, Oat Crunch cereal. And it reminded me of the Quaker... What is it? The Quaker, like brown sugar. They look identical to this. I don't even remember what they're called, but I think those possibly might have honey in them. So I haven't had them in a long time. I could be wrong on that, but it just brought me back. And I was like, I want those. <laughs> I don't eat cereal too often, but sometimes for a snack, you know, and uh, I wanted to try this out. We will see. But uh, just if you're curious on the ingredients there, it's pretty minimal as well. 
Love that. Give it a whirl. I got two bags too of the white cheddar skinny pop popcorn. This was also on sale. The white cheddar one is vegan, but just be careful because sometimes I get it confused myself and I think it's the aged cheddar is not, I think. And it might even be aged white cheddar. So it's kind of confusing, but this one is. <laughs> anyway, I also got a bag here. I should have stocked up on this from uh, Costco before, but I didn't even think about it. But I got a bag here of the wild frozen blueberries. I always tell you guys, this is a pretty big bag though, um, 32 ounces here. Um, for smoothies and stuff. But I always tell you guys, if you're going to get a bunch of frozen fruit, get it at Costco. You really cannot beat the price. And then I have a couple ice cream items. Let me grab them. So I have never tried these before and they're by Good Pop. And I got the orange and cream one. And you know, it looks like those, what do they call them? Like the 50-50 bars. It's like a coconut ice cream in it though. I don't know. It just sounded really refreshing. So I grabbed it. Yeah. Coconut cream, orange juice, cane sugar, carrot juice probably for the color <laughs> i don't know we'll see and then this remember push pops you remember the strawberry one they also had this in an orange flavor too but i went with strawberry since i got the orange for this so that was everything i'll uh give you guys the total here i want to say it was like close to 150 um but i think they refunded about 22 dollars worth so anyway i'll put the total of what i actually did share with you here let's go out to the garden i'll give you a little update Actually, it's a little bit shaded right now, so that's kind of nice. But look at this. If you guys saw when we first got here and I kind of just quickly showed over, it has grown so much, so much. So there's some tomatoes there. They're still pretty small. There's more back there. But this whole box here is nothing but peppers, but just different kinds. So there's habanero. That's probably going to be extremely spicy for Nate. You know, he doesn't always love that. Uh, that's shishito peppers. There's not really too many on here yet. They're still really small. We got some hot. Oh, we do have jalapenos. I don't know if there's any in there yet. I don't think so. Well, nope. Not yet. <laughs> um, there's some poblano ones too in here, but they haven't really come through yet. Everything looks really good though. Look, there's one coming. It's trying. Here's one too. Love it. Sorry, the AC's on right now, so it's a little bit loud, but yeah, then we got some mini uh, chocolate bell peppers. Those have not grown, and if they have, I'm sure the dog ate them, but there's one. I've never had that before in my life. And uh, this one here, what is this? I love that they labeled these because I wouldn't even know. Orange bell pepper, okay, got it. Here, see the thing is, is they start to get like, we have a really, really hot day and they don't like that. But then it's like they were not quite ready to pick yet. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, got all these tomatoes in here too, but see, hot, I didn't get to it in time. I'm learning, but there's a few in there that are still good, so I can grab those, but let me show you the um, eggplant. So this plant has taken off, and I already got one big one off of it about a week ago, but I did notice this morning, look, it looks so good. It's still a little small. But look at that. There's like three or four of them in there too. Isn't that crazy? And they just kind of like, one day they'll be nothing and then the next day they're ready to go. It's so fast. I think there's some more under here too. Maybe. Yeah. So the garden is really doing okay. I am very surprised by it. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a little update. Hopefully it's not too windy and you can hear me. And uh, I hope you guys have a great, great day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.